Обнаружен вражеский снайпер. Hey folks, Moby here. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little Battlefield 4 take me back. Um, I was running the MAV there, as you can tell, and there was an enemy dropping C4 for his team. I don't know why. And oh god, that was hilarious. Just blowing it up. What did I have? Seven kills? Two times? One was four, one was three, I think, if uh, I remember correctly. Um, but that was a blast. That was a hoot. And I usually run the MAV with Slip when he's running uh, mortars over there. So I do the spot and just calling out stuff for the team. Uh, Battlefield 4 is so much more fun with doing shenanigans. Um, BF1 definitely was very difficult for shenanigans. And the 5 is a little bit easier. You can have fun. But um, I still feel like doing proper shenanigans just doesn't work so well with 5. Um, but anyway... This will be the first video on my new YouTube channel, so I will put a link in the description if I remember correctly. And um, sorry for toggling through all those tanks. When I hit the buttons wrong, I, I switched to different people. Um, so I will put a link in the YouTube channel to the old channel. Uh, this will be a new one. Yes, I'd still like to put on some BF, you know, Battlefield videos. I need to have the, the computer hooked up because there's no replay and stuff, so I need to funnel it through the game capture software, and I just don't bother. Um, it's going to eat up my memory and stuff like that pretty quick. And I don't find... I, I'm not playing anything exciting on Battlefield. I'm just kind of monkeying around. You know, there's a couple good clips in a few minutes. But um, not so much good gameplay. I find tanks can be better. And they do have a replay system, which I enjoy a lot. Um, so anyway, welcome to the new channel. Uh, it's going to be the same stuff. Battlefield, probably tanks. I'll try to stick in some warships. They don't have replay yet, even though it's wargaming. Um, hopefully they do bring um, replay to warships. So here's the Scorpion G. Uh, the thing about this is... I'm running chocolate. You can see in the lower right hand corner that's chocolate. So it's a consumable that's always active for the game, throughout the game. You don't consume it like a repair kit or a med kit. Uh, you can see binoculars. I have binoculars. Obviously uh, gives you much better range when you're stationary. And then camo, camo rating. Uh, a camo net, sorry. So um, I run only eight premium shells. I only run two HE and I've thought about running a couple more, but I'm not going to sweat it right now at this point. Um, so the chocolate is consumed after every game, but it, it always stays active. It enhances your crew and all your perks by, I don't know, 5 10% or whatever the deal is. But it costs 20,000 silver to replace at the end of each match. Um, I only run it currently on this tank uh, because I do make you do make so much more silver back on the, on the Scorpion G premium tank. Um, so anyway, the old channel uh, is now... Uh, it will still be there, but um, I'm not going to be using it anymore. Um, so we'll start out with this one. Again, same stuff, similar things. But I'm playing the, the heck out of warships and I, I would love for them to put up a replay system would be terrific. Um, so I find I find tanks is really good because it's got a replay system. If I find a good game, I can, I can capture it. And I think it'll stick around for 15 matches um, before it gets kind of pushed out of the memory. You know, first in, first out kind of thing. So as long as I hook up the computer by the end of the night and I can record it. So... Um, this tank is pretty darn good at making silver. I will try a little extra hard to to stay alive just to make a little bit more silver, especially with this consumable with the chocolate on a German tank. 
um, costing 20,000. Now each nation has their their own food consumable. You know, the Russians have something. Um, U.S. I believe has Coke or Coca-Cola or, or Cola they call it I think. I don't think it's sponsored by Coke. Um, you know, British has their stuff and all that kind of crap. But it's either a beverage or a food or something like that. Um, but it does the same exact thing. No nation has any gets more percent than another one. Um, so let's see here. There's some changes that that uh, I'm following on Quickie Baby a little bit, and there's some changes on PC that I don't know if they're coming to console. But again, it's just one of those things. It's sort of a heads up, and it could be six months to maybe even 18 months down the road that you might see these changes. Um, mostly the tank stats, not that they, like they remove the, the waffle, the Waffentrager auto-loading uh, German tier 10 tank destroyer. They remove the Death Star from the rotation, uh, from a, from the a standard tank, and they made them premium tanks. So, uh, I don't think console's going to do that, but just the stats might change. Uh, so here you can tell, I'm playing back, you know. This is great re view range. You're not, you don't want to... I don't know if I featured the Scorpion G before, but... You don't want to get in a battle. You don't want to be taking too many shots, you know. Uh, I'm going to go down pretty hard, because there's not a whole lot of armor on this sucker. Um, so I'm staying back, using the binoculars, and using my teammates. Because that's that's what it should be doing. So here, you know, we were up, what, 4 to 7? Now it's 5 to 7, pulling it back a little bit. They were on our cap... I'm already kind of scratching my head saying, look, this this is really killing me. And then I get some freaking butthole that pulls up right next to me. Um, the enemy knows our location. Again, you got to remember these aiming down sights, something screwy here, and I don't know why it does it. All right, good. That guy's dead. Um, I don't know why the replay doesn't seem to function properly. Um... Alright, so the guy next to me is dead, which is good, so it attracts less attention to me in my direction. Um, I just, I wish the replay was, was right on, but because that guy was sticking his nose out there and I was drilling him. That guy's gone. So you'll notice, they're still in the cap, no one's going for it, and I'm sort of like, look, what do I do? Do I really go for it and die doing it because I'm going to be spotting them? But they're going to be spotting me probably because I have to move into position first. And your the camo net comes off while you're in motion. And my binoculars don't work when you're in motion either. You have to sit still for about five seconds. Um, this was a problem. As you can tell, I need a little help. I got a little help. They're still capping us. But um, we are spotting them, so I'm not in a panic. And I'll be honest, here, once this guy died and somebody else shot him and it wasn't didn't have to be me, I, I had a little confidence. I had a little confidence. Uh, I'm not promising anything, but I'm like, okay, I will push up now because someone else is finally doing something. They're taking advantage of, of the spot that I, you know, I lit up the guy. Um... So when you have binoculars in a tank like this that is, let's say, delicate and it, and it takes a shot pretty hard, I knew if I can get to this location and they're within, you know, 450 meters or so, 460 meters of the base, and I can see that, I'm all set. I can spot the base, the camo net goes up, even if I shoot, my camo rating stays low enough they can't see me, which was, that's exactly what I needed. I just needed that break. So being here is perfect. You notice the optics came off when I moved the tank. The net will come off as well, moving it forward or backwards or left or right. There's an exception to the Swedish tank. You can pivot it left and right, and the camo net will still stay. But um, I, d I dig the Scorpion G. It is a money maker, big time. Tons of silver. It cost me 50 bucks in real life money, but um, you know this that. Like I said, that when that guy, when I got a little assistance there, that helped a ton, and it gave me a little bit of confidence to move up. And then when I could, when I could get right in that position, 
spot the base and they can't spot me, I was quite comfortable with that. So that was cool. Um, makes a big difference. Two more tanks. I don't I don't remember what happened off the hand. I'll have to see this as you guys are watching it. But um, towards the end here, I have a little bit of... I guess there's a... I wouldn't call it a bonus clip, but a, a pre-bonus clip. And... Um, I'll go over some features of a tank, and uh, we'll try this out. I don't know if it'll help anybody or not. Obviously, you guys can use Google and talk to people and figure it out, but you'll see in a bit. I needed a little support so I can spot the guy. Notice I just got the spot a target hit, um, and uh, someone's still whacking on him. If I'm going to be functional as the spotter, then great. You know, if I'm the closest guy to it, I need to stay alive. I don't remember where the light tank is exactly. Um, I'm more useful alive and not shooting and just sitting there and being the spotter for, for RD and, and a heavy or whatever rather than going YOLO out there because when I shoot, I think it's a 12 second reload. Um, I need to make sure I kill him in one shot. So that's why I'm, I'm staying up here because We've got the upper hand. We had the number of tanks. He's eliminated. Already did a good job there, which is terrific. Um, I felt like Artie was trying to stay alive. He relocated, moved. He's really trying. I give him credit. Some Arties will just give up and say, fuck this. Some will just drive out there and YOLO, um, which clearly is not what you want to have happen. That's not a problem, especially when he's showing you the booty. And... Um, I don't know what that was, what that explosion at the end was, but anyway. Um, yeah, when he's not turned toward you and he's a one-shot, I'm fine with pushing on him. Uh, not that I want to steal the kill, but, you know, I, I think I did uh, my part in this game. I did a fair amount of work. It's not unreasonable for me to ask for a little bit of in return. So, you know, coming in second isn't half bad. Five kills, almost 3,000 damage. Uh, yeah, I only made 60,000 silver or whatever, but... You know, the number of shots and the ones that connected. So I hit nine tanks, and they penned all nine tanks. So that was kind of cool. Anyway, here's the Panzerkampf. Uh, tier, well, Panzerkampf 7, it's a German tank, heavy tank, tier 10. Some people were having some difficulties um, as to where to shoot them. So there's a mode here in the garage that you can sort of look at the tank. Um... So down the side, our left side of the screen, there is, it's pretty much flat, straight down the sides. However, you see how it bumps out towards the base of the turret? It's round. If you can put your shot into where that spot is round, and obviously try to hit the spot that's most perpendicular to where you're firing from, that is a weak spot. Um... Shooting it in the center, the lower hull is has got some armor on it, and you'll see this armor profile here in a second. So you see the red, dark red is obviously super thick armor. You don't want to shoot the front. Um, any part of the upper glacis. The lower glacis, maybe if it's straight on. So here's the side. You see where it's yellow below that red part of the turret. You want to shoot it at the round part of the turret. Any side shot will do, clearly. That's not a problem. But... If you're angled, if he's angling to you like this, you want to shoot that lower, um, the lower part of the turret, which is basically the hull, even though the hull is rounded. Um, there's the ammo. It's showing you where the ammo rack is in the back of the tank. Um, you can obviously see the the shell velocity. So it's 100 meters per second for standard shells. It's 1500 for um, premium. Also in the front, that gun turret isn't modeled in the armor which it might be vulnerable there's never as much armor on those gun ports right there so right in the center right in the upper glacis i would be comfortable shooting that or the best bet is track the darn thing and go around the side you, you just don't you don't want to be taking these things head on but again if he's angled like this and you're shooting at this tank like that aim for that base of the turret where it's rounded just where the flat hull, the upper hull, comes into that rounded part. You want to aim right there at that corner, ideally. Um, 
But again, this thing is such a beast from the front. If you just have to give up on it, I would say give up and move around it. So um, anyway, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully uh, you guys are want to subscribe to the new channel. And um, remember, uh, oh, and I want to thank Reject for this little clip here. He uh, came up and was shooting a guy after I died. But um, remember, keep your stick on the ice.